Good evening to everyone here. I was a swimmer, I still try to swim, but uh, currently I am additional DGP sports in the police department. And uh, I would like to share my misery that even if I identify a good sports person in the police department, it is quite a task for me to get him to me and uh, train him. And I am ready with all the training, all the equipment, all the funding, everything is there with me. Uh, <coughs> but uh, he leaves the mindset even within the departments where uh, sports is considered to be time wasting, uh, enjoyment kind of an activity and not an activity which contributes to nation building. So, unless that mindset goes, uh, it will be difficult for us to uh, achieve what we are trying to achieve. Uh, another point that I want to make is that uh, we, we produce. Uh, a Sanya Mirza, we produce a Sachin Tendulkar, uh, we produce an Abhinav Bindra, but we hardly see what is behind them, who really brought them up, who encouraged them, uh, who mentored them. All our systems of rewards are basically focused on achievers and not on people who are behind them. Uh, there is a shloka in Sanskrit which says, Amantaram Aksharam Nasti. Nasti Mulam Anoshadam, Ayogya Purusha Nasti, Yojaka Astatras Durlabha, which means that every letter has the capacity to become a mantra, every root has the capacity to become a medicine, every person can be a winner. What is rare is the capacity or the visionary who can transform potential into reality, who can identify the talent and bring him up. That is rare. And that is the kind of person Mr. Sai Baba is. These are the people who should be recognized, who should be helped, who should be supported. We will recognize this, a, a champion produced by him and forget him. That's, that's very bad in our system. Our system is basically success oriented, not oriented towards those who are actually producing that success. It happens everywhere. It happens in our families also. We talk about IIT students, this, that and all that. We, hardly, we forget about those parents who work so hard burnt the midnight oil, uh, put the children in teaching, tuition, uh, took them to the school, uh, the mother took care of the child, all those people are forgotten. We must take care of our coaches, we must take care of our parents who are mentoring their children, we must take care of institutions who are building up uh, champions and success uh, stories in our country. We don't recognize genuine, good, sincere effort at the level of entering. So that is one point that I wanted to uh, tell. By all means, let us celebrate our successes, uh, success and uh, the champions. But uh, coaches and institutions should also be uh, treated well. Uh, just to share my experience, I have been in the AP Police uh, Department as ADG Sports for the past one and a half years. I can tell you, AP Police is the department which contributed nearly half the Indian football team in the 1950s. And today, our, and that Indian football team, by the way, was fourth in the world in the Olympics. And today we are nowhere in the uh, Asian scene, forget about the world scene in football. And the, the state of football in the state of Andhra Pradesh is miserable. <coughs> Nevertheless, uh, in the past one and a half years, I have again tried to put together a good football team in the AP Police. They are currently under practice secretly in a place in Karnul. And <laughs> Now, secretly because I have to keep them away from all kinds of prying eyes and jealous uh, uh, eyes that they are enjoying. Uh, they are going through a very tough, uh, rigorous routine, but in the general uh, sort of uh, uh, departmental this thing, it is said that because they are wasting their time. Anyway, uh, I would like to tell you that it's about a year that I have been training the football team. Last year, my football team held Kerala Police 0-0 zero, zero to a draw. Year before that, Kerala police had beaten my team 6-0. And this year, hopefully we'll turn the tables on Kerala. <laughs> so anyway, that's how I mean I keep uh, setting targets and trying to achieve them. The same applies to the hockey team of the AP police. Uh, we were nowhere in the hockey scene in the All India level. This year, the AP police hockey team reached the quarterfinals in the All India police hockey at Bangalore. We held the famous mighty CRPF 0-0. And uh, it was quite an achievement. In fact, our team, uh, right up to the quarterfinals, committed the least number of fouls and was awarded the Fair Play Award. 
my swimmer. AP, AP has never been known as a swimming state. AP police has never been known as a swimming uh, sort of uh, department. But a swimmer in the past one year has reached international levels. Uh, he, for the first time in the history of AP police, went to the All India, uh, to the World Police Games in Belfast, Ireland in August and brought three golds and three silvers, which is an unprecedented kind of a, uh, achievement.